indicative of some of the areas that have been talked about that really we can keep an old building, but there's some things that really just don't, um, no matter, we, we had the benches repainted um, to make it look a little bit nicer. We had the floor repainted this summer to have it look a little nicer. I used some elbow grease with the guys to brush this up. Um, but it still has a very old feel. And um, the showers, the girls are going to use these showers. And as much as they get active in PE and even for sports, um, you know, in terms of, of using those showers, they're in pretty bad shape. So this is a very old traditional locker room. And we, we, you know, kind of patch things up when there was a major leak in the front, um, you know, earlier. Um, and so we, we kind of patched it up, but this would be a constant repair. We think we start that. keeping it. So if you stayed, would you replace the lockers? Would that be part of a renovation? Yes, the locker rooms were part of a renovation itself. So that would be a major part of what the, some of the costs? Correct. Yep. So we'll, we'll actually kind of, you know, which way am I going? I'll walk through the gym. Or do we want to do the What's, what's next on the list there? Yeah. So that's that way. Yeah. So I guess. Oh, please. Is that locked too? And just for the um, athletes, oh. the regular students aren't allowed to work out here. Well, it's not really basically oh, this is an area for the trainer. This is not what you think. No, oh. this is not a weight room. This is um, for uh, the athletic trainer to escape up injuries. Oh, oh. Too, you know, kind of check. Oh, it's not a real one. Right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And again, you oh, I see. Yeah. We have the ice machine. Too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The ancient ice machine. Yeah. Has the temporary fix of the catch basin there. Yeah. And, um, oh my. So. Okay. Yeah. So. You can see a lot of water leaks here yeah. too. Yeah. This is right here. Yeah. yeah. No, this is. But. It's definitely yeah. not wear and tear. Yeah. So when we looked at the building initially, before we even, you know, started to look at uh, going to a building committee, the idea of the, the roof being one of the major issues that we needed to address, and then internally this, this locker room area, both men's and women's and women's training areas, were, were major um, concerns in terms of any kind of even small scale renovation, that we need to do something to update them and make right. them more accommodating for students. Right. Okay. Right. You want to hit the locker room at the end? Yeah, we can come back to that. It, it yeah, looks well, essentially it looks like the same. Yeah. The same, right? I don't know that we the shower heads actually come out midway. Okay. So, in order to get kind of any. You know, midway. You're midway, so they don't come down on your head. So you really have to just kind of maneuver yourself. Wow. Get what was the quite an intriguing. What was the point of that? I wonder. Yeah, I guess they were small. Sounds like Hotel New Hampshire. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Why would you put a shower head in that basin? I'm not sure. <laughs> well, we're you're, we're exaggerating a little bit, they're but they're pretty that. low. This is Basically, all English the language. building is kind of a series of big squares. And so this would be the kind of the outer portion where um, there are classrooms that are um, located on either side. And we pretty much have done this by department. And one of my big things is that each department kind of is isolated from other departments and part of our academic plan as far as the future is to really provide more interdisciplinary opportunities for teachers. Um, I mean, we, we could rearrange where teachers have their classrooms, but even in the ability to collaborate, there's no space here where they can meet, things like that. Um, we'll show just a basic classroom. You guys just want to see a basic classroom? Sure. sure. Okay. You want to do, actually, I'm familiar with your classroom. Yeah. 
as you can tell, was one of the additions that was... Uh, one of the newer portions? Uh, well, new relatively speaking. Right. 87. But well, we've recently had, um, you know, carpet was a big concern, right. so we've pretty much removed. Yeah. In fact, yeah. this was the last wing um, that had carpet in it. Does the library have carpet? Yeah, it's typical kind of the... Very traditional in terms of what is inside the classroom, and we try to update in terms of technology. You'll see the LCD projector, the whiteboard, um, mm -hmm. as far as an ability to become interactive, which is there's some tools out there. Um, but I have to say that these desks are probably the oldest desks at Morgan. Um, and you know, one of the things about the school, they do have nice sized classrooms. Um, we do. In terms of science, you'll see the impact, though, of the size of the classrooms that was done during an earlier renovation in the 90s, where there are some classrooms that are that are quite classrooms that are that are quite tight in terms of numbers and, and some safety concerns. Um, but clearly, if you wanted to have computers on every desk, there's no provisioning for that at all. Right. Correct. And then you're looking at some of the new windows here um, that were done. Approximately what percentage of the windows are new or new work? Do you have any idea? Percentage rise now. I know they, we of did the total, this, this, the, the, added, the wings that were added on um, have been done, the English wing on both sides. And then as we go down in the middle of the court, courtyard, those windows have been redone. So maybe and like 30%, 40%? Yeah, uh, 30 to 30 might be a just a little bit, it might be a little bit more than that, but so. I mean, all the cafeteria windows have not been redone, for example, right. and that's a large space. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. But again, temperature, one of the things is that, you know, you walk in one day and it's very hot on this side of the, you know, the hallway and, and freezing here, so that regulation would be, and then um, again, um, as it gets hot, opening up of the windows and things like that as opposed to air conditioning. Mm -hmm. Ready?